Hello, this is Heather from Stamps Paper Love. During the month of June, I am participating in the best of 30 days of sketches with Christie's Beautiful Life and several other fabulous scrapbookers. Be sure to check out the link to the playlist below so that you can see all of the creations this month. Today is day three and we're working with a sketch that was designed by Rochelle Spears for Sketches in Time. And the sketch has kind of an angled rectangle on it behind where the photo mat and photo are. And instead of putting that rectangle, I have opted to use a stencil. And this stencil is from Scrapping Reflections and it has a lot of little hearts all bunched up in a way that it creates a larger heart. And the theme of the layout today is a flower girl for a wedding. So I thought the hearts worked nicely to uh, kind of go with what was happening in the photo that you'll see in a little bit. So I take off the stencil and of course there's a little bit of ink that has gotten in a, in a couple places that I didn't really intend it to get. Um, it's not too terrible because there's a, like a distressed pink look to the background paper anyway but I do erase it a little bit and try to tidy it up. Um, and there is the photo. It's a photo of my daughter who is four at the time and she's looking up at the bride who is my cousin. And it just was a super, super sweet, cute photo. And so I thought it would be really good to uh, go ahead and document her first flower girl experience. Um, I went with a kind of a color palette that has pinks and peaches in it because the flowers in the photo, both in the bouquet and the columns around them, um, there is, it's like a yellow color to a, a deep peachy orangey color. And then there's some pinks in there as well. So I kind of use the colors from the flowers to uh, drive my decisions for the layout. Um, and I'm just making the photo mat. I was using a six by six paper pad, so I had to um, make the mat around the photo be <clears throat> two pieces of paper because one piece of six by six paper was not going to work to give that border around the photo given that this is a four by six photo. I ink the edges of that photo mat with the same pink that I used with the stencil and then I'm looking for some more additional pieces of paper from that paper pad to use. And I, again, I just pick the florals and just the things that kind of say wedding to me. So this particular paper that I'm grabbing right now, I cut it in half because again, it's not going to be long enough to span across the photo the way that I want it to. So I split it in half and then put one part up at the top and one part at the bottom. And that way it makes your paper go a little bit farther and just gives you that impression that you have the paper going all the way across the back of the photo and nobody has to be any wiser <laughs> of what, what you've done once you're all finished. Um, here I'm just adding another layer of that floral paper and this layout, you know, really came together pretty simply. It's, it's, the stencil does a good amount of the embellishment work, so it just brings a lot of uh, interest. I'm going to, uh, right now, use some foam strips that I have to elevate the photo and give, give the layout a little bit of dimension. I'm going to glue it onto the layout with Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive, which is absolutely awesome. I, um, like I buy a bottle of this adhesive like every time I place an order somewhere because I just don't ever want to run out of it. <laughs> so I think I think I have enough right now. I probably don't need to buy any uh, for a little bit anyhow. So at this point, the photo is all set and good and it's just time to, to start embellishing. Um, I'm there the layout or the sketch called for the a little flag here. And so I play with this one a little bit. Um, I think I do end up using it, but it doesn't just stay like this. I'm going to back it up with another piece of paper. These flowers um, are really, really beautiful. They're paper flowers, and they're very dimensional, and I really wanted to use them, but 
uh, I just don't end up making them work. It just, they're bulky. And so the whole time I'm thinking about using them, I'm thinking about, well, what happens when this goes in a, in a page protector? These flowers are going to just over time get crushed and probably not look so good. So I kind of take a break from that for a minute. I get out my wax paper because I'm thinking these stickers um, are going to need to go on there for me to figure out how to place them. Well, there's zero stickiness left to these stickers. They're kind of a, a velvety texture to them and they're old, so they were not going to have any stickiness left. So I do place them up at the top, um, but they're definitely going to need to have some glue. And then I find another set of thickers that's probably about the same way. They, they did come off the page and have a little bit of stickiness. Uh, to spell out flower, so it says flower girl for the title. Uh, these have kind of a, it's like a crushed, it's not really glitter, but it's like this crushed clear texture to it. So it's just kind of a nice addition to the layout. Um, again, you won't be able to tell that in the video or probably even in the still shots at the end, but trust me, it's beautiful. <laughs> so here I am again, uh, fussing with the little banner piece. And you can see I've added an additional piece of paper behind it. And I'm going to go ahead and go with that. So I'm just kind of making some finishing touches on it before I attach it to the layout in that spot. And I'm just still processing what am I going to do with these flowers? Are they going to make it on the page? I think if they had all been the same color, I'm, I might have tried to put them on. I just couldn't decide how to arrange the colors. They, they are pretty and they definitely need to make it onto a project at some point, but this, this was not the one. And I don't know what I'm doing right now, just kind of looking through and finding some things. I think I'm looking for stickers because I have, again, no idea what I'm gonna do with those flowers, but I know it needs something there. So I'm just playing around until I come up with the stickers that I want to use and here they are so these um I think they're from that was it called Saturday morning or Saturday afternoon I think it was Saturday afternoon um collection from One Canoe 2 so there were these little flowers that were a reasonable color to go with the layout they have more of the pink than the orange but they're very pretty and there were a few a few different styles. Um, there were some flat ones. This one, which I don't end up using because I get almost the identical sticker out of another spot, but it's a puffy floral, so it gives it that dimension. And then that one that I just placed in the upper corner, that's a dimensional sticker, and it has some pearls on it, which, um, you know, I'm not sure right now what I'm going to do, so I keep fiddling around to see how I want to add them. And I felt like I wanted to put something next to Flower Girl just in that little space there, but I don't end up leaving that flower there. Um, mostly because I wanted to put something on the corner of the photo and it just seemed like too much with that flower in the spot where I have it right now. So, you know, it's always a trial and error. And then am I going to put something on this corner? Well, I also want to put something next to that, that little flag. And it's a whole thing. <laughs> I did add on a little clip to the corner there that has some, I think it already had those fibers and ribbons and stuff on it. I don't know where I came across that, but it was probably from a swap years ago or something. And so I added that on there just to give it a little added something something and I'm just going through and seeing if there's anything else that's going to work I find a strip that says don't forget that life is beautiful and in order to make it work on the little flag I have to cut it in half and it also is not that sticky <laughs> so I just while I was um, starting up the voiceover here I just had glued that with some Nuvo adhesive as well because it may be because I lifted it up and moved it around a little bit that it just wasn't wanting to stick. The corners were kind of pulling up a little bit. So, you know, stickers aren't always that sticky. <laughs> but it not, it worked nicely. It was that, that nice peachy color. 
um, that definitely worked well with the flowers that were on the paper. And I popped this up on some foam as well, like halfway, because there's already foam on the back of that photo mat. And then this sticker is a puffy, well, it's just a foam backing. It's not really, really a puffy sticker, but it has like a cardstock sticker top and then has some foam on it. So I don't know, I'm fiddling around with that to get it to uh, work the way I want it to and put that on there. And then I am going to um, glue it down with some Nuvo adhesive. Again, that stuff is the best. You absolutely have to try it if you have never tried it before. Uh, I'm sure there's other glue that works well too, but I've just been so impressed with it since I started using it that I just probably won't use anything else ever again unless they don't make it anymore. <clears throat> And these flower stickers, they I just think they added a nice nice elegance. Obviously, Flower Girl, it, it needs to have a flower theme of some kind. So they just worked really well. And I just love how the stenciling in the back um, accents it. You know, you don't see the whole stencil, but it's just there enough that, that you get a nice effect. And it really gives you some good uh, good feelings about love and all that. All right, for the last couple of things, I'm just adding on some enamel dots um, in each cluster. And I, you know, I don't have a whole lot of confidence with myself when it comes to enamel dots. So I'm just putting them down and, and uh, hoping for the best. I probably would have positioned them a little bit differently, especially in the lower cluster. I don't know. They seem like they're not quite spaced out the way they should be. But they're pretty and they add a little bit of sparkle. And then I'm going to add some pearls um, on the flowers on that lower cluster just to kind of match the the pearls that are on the one up, up at the top and that is really about it so I appreciate you watching and I hope that you um, come back and watch my channel another time definitely like the video and subscribe if you enjoyed it because the plan is to have more creations of mine to share with you so that you can get some inspiration for your own stories. Again, thank you so much for watching.